When we asked the experts about life in 2040, one of the really striking themes that sort of sets the stage for this conversation about higher education is what uh, experts refer to as adjunct intelligence, in, the anchored in artificial intelligence being everywhere and exercising a quite dramatic effect on people's identity and their even their perceptions of reality. Uh, these experts think that humans accustomed uh, to their own agency and uh, humans uh, so far monopoly on complex intelligence, that's going to have to give way to uh, where AI will essentially be a partner now uh, in both intelligence and consciousness for a lot of the humans. One of our respondents that we quote quite extensively is Barry Chudikoff, who, who referred to this whole uh, shift as a kind of introduction of a mind 2.0 reality where he argued that thought itself is no longer housed within one brain, but is the end product of a shared brain where we will wanna have artificial intelligence systems helping us acquire both insight and knowledge into the world. He referred to his mind 2.0 uh, insight as uh, a collective mind, an externally accessed mind, uh, which exploits not only individuals, but billions of individuals and institutions and the things that they've learned over time. And uh, it will influence the way we see reality. So for academic institutions, this is enormously challenging and transforming as you've heard the other panelists uh, talk about. It's up and down the stack of education, new things are in play. Uh, you know, Whole systems of conveying knowledge and inspiring creativity and assessing the learning process and conferring credentials for who has mastered uh, knowledge is all, all up for grabs now in this new world. So, you know, big questions like what is knowledge and what is creativity and what, how, what's valued should we assign to retention and memory and wh what does actually mastery mean in, in these new environments? And so I think that's, um, that's, that's kind of what we're all referring to in this conversation about the implications for higher education. The whole notion of education is going to be reimagined, um, starting with the micro level with micro credentials and, and other kinds of certification and going to the macro level of lifelong learning um, and, in which universities have a have a big edge because they already have alumni relations and sort of striking a deal with somebody at whatever age, 17, 18, 19, 20, 30, and saying, you know, not only are we going to give you the education you need right now, but we're going to... Um, give you a subscription down in the future for our, taking a certain number of courses every five to 10 years. Or we're going to give you a, a package, like a frequent education flyer package of, you know, you can do these, these kinds of things. Now, I think there's a real opportunity to build, you know, learning communities uh, in new ways thanks to, thanks to these things. 